Hey everyone, uh, it's been a while since I posted anything, but I wanted to show you, I added a second battery bank, uh, or battery to the bank. Uh, it's another 280 amp hour, uh, 48 volt, uh, to the system that I already have. So I had already had this slot or this uh, piece in the cabinet and I um, desperately wanted to fill it. But really with um, winter hours, um, we needed it. And, and it's good actually at this point to start at the type of season or the time of season we did to get to this point and know um, what it's like to have, you know, multiple cloudy days and see what the system needs. So this has really, really helped. Um, I didn't spend near as much time top balancing it, and I'll show you here in a second. Um, it's, and I would lie and say that I'm going to do a lot of wire management here still, but you know, I don't think I will. Um, so it works. Um, I might pull a few more things out of the way. Uh, it hasn't been long since I wired it up, but I used a, a, a JK BMS. I got that off eBay, but it seems to be around the same price if you go on um, Alibaba, but um, unfortunately, uh, you know, the overkill here is based out of Florida, I believe. And so it's a JBD BMS. This, the JK BMS, I don't think they, there's any American vendors, at least that I know of. So Dokan, the one that sells these battery cells, they'll also, uh, they are also have some of them that they ship from China and some in stock, but, um, I got a 150 amp one. I'll never be drawing anywhere close to that anyway. But the balancing, the active balancing is really cool. I mean, I, I, I saw some videos about it before. I just did not understand all the dynamics of everything. But you don't have to top balance or put near as much effort into it because that does the balancing for you. Um, the overkill. So there's different things I like about each one of them and this hasn't been running long. So we'll, we'll see. Um, that needs some more directions and support still. There is some online, but there's not a whole lot of, uh, not enough anyway, info on that. Uh, the overkill, they go overkill on the directions. There's all kinds. I mean, there's they send it with a, a color graph on how to do it. Um, lots of guarantees, really cool BMS, but passive balancing, so kind of a weak balance if you've got healthy cells there's really no issue there but um uh, it also I, I i think i mentioned it before but i'm i don't have anything hooked to wi-fi so uh this basically tells me because i'm i'm really really closely balanced to the cabinet battery bank that i have so that my house is probably 150 feet away at least and the overkill BMS will reach there with Bluetooth. So I, I can see basic, you know, state of charge from all the way over there, which is really cool. Uh, the JK BMS, you get like 30 feet or something. And I've heard Victron is even shorter than that. Um, so I don't know. It did come also come with this cool little screen. I've got a shunt for both of them because I wanted to monitor, uh, you know, how much usage I'm getting between them. Uh, they're going to share the same voltage because they're already in parallel on really the parallel but they're on this bus bar here together but you know as far as usage i wanted to see between them so i got another one of these chinese shunts but the screen is really cool that comes with it and so far it looks really accurate as far as usage and state of charge so i like um so far i'm really liking the jk bms and uh, i've take you out here in a second and I'll show you I just wired up the last array that I'm going to do on the roof of the shop so I'll show you that here in a second Hold on. so these are six 450 watt sun gold panels that I got there was a Black Friday deal so uh, this about maxes out the capacity of the LV6548s the two that I have so and I used uh, Unistrut. I've already grounded it, but um, I used two or three Unistrut and did them essentially how I did the other 
smaller array with Unistrut mounted into the roof with uh, bolts and washers on the rail. And that, that works really well with these. I uh, can't remember the name of those clips, but I mentioned it in one of my other videos for the ends, uh, top and bottom. So anyway, that was a quick update, and I do have some more uh, stuff I want to make videos on, but I haven't done anything in a while, so I just wanted to add this, the two newest things we've done to the system, and then how that's working for us in the winter. I uh, want to chat about that, cold weather, uh, some other things in the next video, but yeah, this is these two add-ons have really improved the system so far, so uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.